Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're due for an Isaac run. Uh, technically. This is the third Isaac run in a row, but one of those was random. And also, the last Isaac run wasn't really an Isaac run. It wasn't even really a video game as much as it was a, a distillation of everything wrong with the world. Uh, okay, we just got 12 cents in one chest. I don't know what the F's going on, but I like it. Um, yeah, a distillation of everything that's wrong with the world kind of rolled up into one ball that uh, didn't make me the happiest camper in the world. What would make you a happy camper? I, I'm just trying to... I, I use that expression a lot. I don't even like camping. What would make me a happy camper is if they canceled the camping trip and we could just stay inside and play Towerfall or something like that. More money? Uh, we got Burnt Penny, which is actually well worth the bomb that we spent. I just wish we had not gotten it until we got all the money that was in that earlier section there, but this is still okay. But I guess, like, if I was camping, what would be uh, my ideal camping experience? I would be a happy camper if it wasn't too hot outside. I, I'm okay with the cold, but, it, you know, you're in a, like, a wool sweater or something like that. Or not even a sweater. You don't wear a wool sweater when you go camping in the heat, obviously. But, you know, maybe you're wearing, like, a wool clothing because it die it dries better than uh, than cotton clothing in the, in the, you know, dampness. That would make me a happy camper if the temperature was good. Also, if we had, like, a gas stove and maybe we caught some fish. One of the best lunches I've had in my entire life is I went fishing with my my dad and my grandpa and then we uh, caught a couple fish in the morning. We just pulled up to an island and then turned on the gas stove, cooked the fish right there. Pretty darn fresh, really good, no no extra seasoning, really necessary, it was goddamn delicious. And that was when, like, I was 10 years old and my favorite food was chicken nuggets, so... I mean, I, I now I'm 25 and my favorite food is chicken nuggets, but I've had good food now, is what I'm trying to say. And I don't even know what I'm trying to say. These are things that would make me a happy camper. That and a uh, 3,000 volt generator that would allow me to, uh, you know, never have to go outside, keep things climate controlled, etc., etc. It's a shame because I live in Vancouver. It's a very outdoorsy town. Lots of... We'll probably just end up taking Squeezy here. Lots of wonderful things to do if you're the kind of person who would in enjoys the outdoors. More power to you, but for me, uh, I'm, I'm content to just stay inside, enjoy the fact that the city has wonderful views, and then never go to what those views actually show me. In any case, the last run in Isaac was absolutely awful. Uh, we, we never had really any chance to do very much at all. I tried, though, and we ended up getting to, like, the, the floor just prior to Mom, I think. Or maybe we did get past Mom, and we ended up making it... I think we did get past Mom, and we ended up making it to uh, the first level of the womb. I kind of like the idea of picking up the sack of pennies here because it synergizes quite nicely with Burnt Penny. It's not the best item in the game, uh, but it, it works It works well for us in conjunction here, I think. So, please... Oh, if that had a penny, I would have been really pleased. But we're in a weird situation here because if I can find the secret room, I can probably go to the shop. And I do have a lot of bombs. Uh, the problem is that we have no idea where the secret room could be. So, you know what? I'm going to not go to anything on this floor. And we'll just go to the next floor, and we'll forget that we even tried. And next floor, we'll definitely get enough money. We'll have a ton of bombs. We've got one key. We can do with that what we will. But anyway, first floor, tears upgrade. Decent trinket, and uh, something that synergizes nicely with that trinket is A-OK -okay in my book. So we might even get that penny right here. And there we go, and more bombs. All right, and then inside of our shop, we get the coin purse, which is always a little bit of a tricky, uh, tricky maneuver here. Because we're so early, I think I'm going to re-roll it, and we'll get the Nun's Habit instead. And that's, uh, it's not necessarily objectively better, let's be honest. That coin purse could have had four HP upgrades in it. But it's, uh, on average, probably a lot better than the coin purse is. And, uh, coin purse has a, a nasty habit of occasionally putting its finger inside of my butt and wiggling it around in just the wrong way that I don't necessarily like. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to th say that that was a win for us, and Nun's Habit on the second floor means that we can focus more on our other uh, main D6, not really related to the D6, but the main item I like to get in the shop after or in conjunction with the Nun's Habit, which is absolutely the, uh, the compass. So, it looks like we're going to be uh, exactly in time with going to our uh, boss room here, and we'll get a reroll just in time to use it on... Either the deal with the devil or the boss room if necessary. First things first, let's put the greatest bomb of all time down and hit absolutely nothing with it, despite the fact that we had both of them in our sights there. Because of our tears upgrade, I really shouldn't need to use uh, a bomb, but, you know, we, we should be getting enough of them by way of this uh, sack of pennies, burnt penny combination that uh, I don't really feel, uh, feel the pressure to not use them as well. I also will prioritize secret rooms a little bit more than I normally do in all likelihood because of this sweet combination that we've got going on here. It's a good habit in general, but I'm not a, uh, a model for good habits for the most part. I'm not addicted to, to crack cocaine, but I do occasionally eat cheeseburgers 
more often than I should, and I like them. Let's see what we've got going on here in our deal with the devil room. I will pay two, uh, two health for the ability to fly and say fuck you to Guppy's tail. Reroll uh, the Cat of Nine Tails and pick up an HP. And then we'll leave this and go check out over here, because we do still want to go to our shop, if possible. Um, we do still want to go to the secret room, if possible. And uh, those are those kind of work well in conjunction with one another. Uh, sorry, we do still want to go to the item room, if possible, was the first thing I should have said. Because now, not only will we gain some bombs here uh, from our secret room, but also we can buy a key, if necessary, from our shop. And by buying a key, that'll give us access to the item room, but obviously, as you might expect, my hope is that we can just get to it to begin with. Or, if this is our um, item room over here, which it actually is, then we can just bomb our way in. And I, I probably should have done that before I uh, left, because now it's going to cost me two bombs instead of three. But let's be honest, that's not that big of a deal. Now we have the greatest, like, uh, health generator and money generator of all time. Not health generator, really, but money generator of all time here. It will give us bombs as well, which is pretty awesome, so... Let's just keep this up, and we can do this uh, as long as we want, basically. And that'll definitely allow us to buy a key, uh, which in this case is actually a good thing, because then we can go to the uh, item room. If we, No, actually, fuck that. First things first, let's go to this room and see if there's anything of value in here. Guppy's head, which means if I do get a chance to go back, I may actually end up taking Guppy's tail. You know what, I'm just going to take the quarter. We will get more rerolls by way of like the blood bank and shit like that, and that right there. Um, but I'll, I'll take the quarter so that my money situation is completely sorted for me, you know? Seemed like a smart idea at the time. Now our health is pretty bad, but we'll take a second to gamble here. We got a key right off the bat, which means um, I could use that to go to the mob trap room. Why would I want to do that? Maybe there's something inside of that golden chest. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, live bomb, that's gonna not kill Three Skull Monty Man, much to my surprise. And why are we gambling? Because we're on a, um, a level with the blood bank. So if we can win some more money, that's more bombs. If we win more health, that's more money, that's more bombs. And uh, and we're good, basically. Uh, but, you know, we got the quarters, so we can afford to spend a little bit of time here, even though I would rather not. I really just don't want to buy the key just yet, if possible, but whatever. Um, let's play until we get down to 30 cents, because that will be two shop items, essentially. But... Well, it just, you gotta pay up something, man. Like, you can't just hold out on me forever. Ideally, not bombs as well is the, the, the best. Because if we get two, if we got two cents, we could have gotten two cents as well as bombs. Or if we got one red heart, that could be two cents or more, and then be more bombs on top of that. But in any case, whatever. And possibly have a chance to get the uh, blood bag, obviously, as well. That worked out fine, I would say. Um, we're gonna gamble over here and try this thing again, because... I mean, I guess I should be saving these uh, reroll chances for uh, the the opportunity to see if maybe we want to reroll whatever is in the item room. So let, let's do that. And I, I, it's actually better for me to use a key to open it in case we want to reroll it a lot, I think, unless it automatically stays open after we go through, which it may very well. A little bit of sloppy play for me so far, but that's not the end of the world. First things first, there's mini mush in here. Uh, it's not very good when we have the opportunity to get as many rerolls as we do. Black bean is also obviously horrible, so... Um, we're gonna move around a little bit here. We do still have one key remaining. Question is what we want to use that on. That's a, it's a good question, you know? Could use it on that golden chest. I almost want to, just because we can buy another one. So you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's let's give that a try. And we're gonna really, like, go to town on this floor. It's the compass, so I'm pretty glad that I opened that up. Uh, that ended up being a pretty good decision. We actually got Nun's Habit and Compass on the same floor, which is setting us up quite nicely. But we are, uh, we're not in a one position yet. Our damage is still just, just adequate. Maybe a little bit above adequate because of the, uh, the squeezy pickup, which gives us a tears upgrade. But certainly things are coming up Millhouse right now. It's amazing how, um, oh, we got another nickel too. Uh, it's amazing how just by kind of like fine tuning your game to the point where you realize that there's a lot of seams you can pull on in Isaac can really help you out. Like, previously, I probably would not have opened that golden chest, uh, and that would have been silly of me, but nine times out of ten, it probably would not have had any item in it. Nine times out of ten, it probably would have just had uh, some money in it, or, you know, some red hearts or something like that. So it's the good to... It's, it, it has maybe a 5% chance to be good, but there are so many things in the game that have a 5% chance to be good that you should really use all of them, and eventually uh, you stand a very good chance of, uh, of, of making it work out quite nicely for you. So... We should come back here and uh, reroll Black Bean, because it's no good. And it gives us the Dead Bird, which is also pretty much no good. So prepare for this to be kind of a long floor. I'm actually really pissed that the... Uh... Oh, of course that pays out right away, right? 
Um, I'm actually a little pissed that uh, the slot machine exploded so quickly because that could have given us more red hearts. I know that took a half of a spirit heart, um, but I did it for reasons that I considered to be reasonably intelligent, which was to come back here and get one more reroll on this, and that's going to give us Polyphemus, so I feel pretty good about that. Um, Obviously, our rate of fire is not going to be fantastic, but we got the ability to fly, Spectral Tears, Nun's Habit, Compass, and Polyphemus all in the basement part 2. 44 cents, one key. Feels pretty good. And we can actually go get Guppy's Tail now, and that gives us a better chance to become Guppy, even though it does uh, obviously put us in, yes, so a bit of a risky position. Dare we go back one more time to try to get the more HP? I think it's a smart idea. I think it could end up backfiring, but uh, sure. We also got Fly Love on this floor, which is worth noting. And we're only one Guppy item away from becoming Guppy, so it's a little bit of a high risk, high reward run here, but man, this has been a pretty good second floor for us. I had a feeling that would happen. Um, let's play it one more time. I'm feeling a little dangerous. That'll take us down to one and a half, and we didn't get anything really out of it, so we'll just blow this up. More spirit hearts, please. Uh, more money. You know, it's more bombs, basically. So, let's put it this way. We've doubled down on some, uh, some pretty dangerous games here. We only have one and a half hearts remaining. That being said, we do have the ability to fly Polyphemus, uh, D6, Nun's Habit, Compass, Guppy's Tail, and one Guppy item away from actually becoming Guppy, so this this is maybe fine. But it is it is also dangerous, yes, you're not wrong, but I really need to rely on our, um, yeah, that's nice, I really need to rely on our offensive output to protect me from the fact that my defensive output is uh, utter shit right now. That being said, two-shotting greed heads is uh, a great position to be in. Three shot in greed heads, I should say, is a great position to be in. Now, all we need to do is actually get some HP to make it work for us. Shops will be good as long as they don't contain greeds. And uh, we get three dollar bill, which is an interesting choice. There's no, we don't have Ipecac, so there's no way three dollar bill can fuck us, as far as I know. And we actually did get some extra HP there, which may end up making the difference between life and death. So yeah, we can get triple shot with Polyphemus, that's pretty good. I do worry about getting... You can't get Ipecac from $3 bill, so disregard. Um, we'll just make our way down here and... Uh, you know, we're not on an XL floor, so I'd, I just kind of want to... Even if we were, I'd, I'd want to fight, fight the boss right away, but... Uh, I really want to fight the boss right away, so hopefully I can have a pretty good chance to get some HP before we get too far into the game. And if I get no more HP for the rest of the game, we're going to have real problems. But apart from that, our offensive situation is so good that I don't really mind it right now. $3 bill, one of those items that, you know, probably ends up having either a null effect or a great effect. So I think it's a, or a good effect, at least I should say. So I, I feel okay picking it up inside of our shop. Uh, battery, yeah, sure. Battery uh, Nun's Habit is a classic combination, I suppose. I'm totally fine with taking it. And we have so much money. Unless we get money equals power, I'll feel pretty shitty about this. But it'll seem like good plays, and we'll uh, go check out our boss room. Because we're going to have plenty of opportunities to reroll it if we... Uh, <laughs> If we kind of prioritize it, so let's keep it up. I expect this is going to be an extremely easy fight against Pestilence. You know what? Getting a cube of meat is uh, not going to change our world, but it will give us better defense, which is pretty important when our health is so low. Mind you, uh, of course, one extra HP would also be substantially more important. Something like meat would be uh, like my dream pickup here. In any case, uh, damage is maybe not as crazy high as I thought it was, but it's definitely higher than you'd normally consider it to be likely for the third floor. Uh, should be able to maybe get another deal with the devil. Yeah, thank God we didn't because I don't even know what I would have done in that situation But we'll be stuck taking Cuba meat might as well explore the rest of the floor You remember what we got in our last golden chest in a mob trap room Well, we got more money and uh, more money means more bombs, but it also means more money And we may end up buying items from all the shops at this point and I'm buying a lot of consumables as well because uh, Spirit hearts and red hearts may well end up uh, keeping me alive long enough to actually get the HP necessary to survive into the successful part of the late game for me, hopefully. Now, I'm, I'm disappointed that we're not one-shotting these enemies. And that makes me super spoiled because uh, we are way, way stronger than you would expect to be on the third floor. And we got another key, or sorry, another bomb. Well, another penny for our troubles, which could have led to a bomb. What do we even want from the shop at this point? I mean, we should have basically as many rerolls as we want to have, especially if there's a, a blood bank on the level. More bombs for me. Uh, we having the map would be nice. That's about it. The relic beyond that, um, and that that would be enough, possibly, if we got the relic plus maybe some more HP. And that's gonna do it for this floor. But we will look for our secret room because it's nice to do so. Just one of those things you should do in a situation like this. 
Picked up another like five bombs. And again, dimes and nickels for whatever reason happening all the time now. Now, if you end up on the caves, I really hope that we get, uh, in some ways, it's almost better to get a shitty item in an item room than an okay item. Because when you get an okay item, it could go either way, right? You you want to reroll it because you want something amazing, but you don't want to reroll it because you could get something shitty. Whereas if you get a shitty item room, it could it only goes up, right? So uh, getting Monstro's Tooth here is actually kind of nice because now it gives me a good excuse to reroll it. And yeah, sure, maybe pick up Mom's Knife and, and win the game forever. So again, much apologies, but uh, if you saw the last run, then uh, you would understand why I am basically uh, very much enjoying making the game my bitch. That being said, I also don't mean the B-word in a, a negative way necessarily. Uh, let's open up our shop here. Obviously, we we don't want much of this, but six gun in this, brother run in this, buffalo soldier, look, it's like I told you, there's something in there. Um, we might as well open this up because we're going to get more keys eventually. I didn't realize it would be right away. Um, but sure, that problem solved, I guess. Now, uh, yeah, we, we haven't won, but the only reason we haven't won is because of our HP. This is actually like a textbook in... If, if the last episode was like, When Isaac Goes Wrong 101, this episode, at least so far, is like, if every like minute chance to have something amazing happen in Isaac happens at once. And, and I like that very much. We're basically not suffering at all in any aspect. Uh, ladder is something we obviously have no need for. 38 bombs, 54 cents. Opening all the golden chests that we can get our hands on, basically. Um, Mom's knife, Polyphemus, ability to fly. Sugar Ray would be really jealous of this run. Because, like, as far as I know, that dude... His name's Sugar Ray, right? <laughs> as, uh, as far as I know, that dude... He just wants to fly, that's it. But, then, like, I guess that's not all he wants, because then he says, like, put your arms around me, baby, put your arms around me, baby. And that's like, well, do you want to fly, or do, like, do you want to take a passenger? I guess he says, I just want to fly, not just I want to fly. He wants to, yeah, it's okay, you can bring a plus one Sugar Ray on this, this trip to greatness that we're going to experience here. Just no statue crumbling, please, Mark McGrath. Uh, while we were at PAX East, yeah, I'll take that. While we were at PAX East, we watched a bunch of celebrity wife swap, because that's what you do at a convention where you fly halfway across the country to be there. Uh, actually, all the way across the country to be there. But anyway, um, there was an episode where Mark McGrath... That was the worst reroll of all time. Swapped his wife with Coolio, and uh, Coolio is basically just like a, a, a meth addict or something right now. And I'm pretty sure when he got back or when his wife got back, he was like, "Man, ABC, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You, you gave my wife to a, a drug addict. That's crazy." I don't know if Coolio is actually a drug addict, but he behaves like a drug addict. Touch for the very first time. Uh, and I was like, there were some other ones where it was like, Alan Thicke gave his wife to Gilbert Gottfried and vice versa. And they're like, hey, we don't really like each other, but that's okay because we're both getting paid. And this one was seriously like the only time where it seemed like people were maybe afraid for their lives. Which made it great, uh, great entertainment, of course. And we do have a pill here. What is this pill? Pretty fly. That's actually a really good one for us. Obviously, I will be going to that curse room because we are pretty close to getting like the craziest run of all time Mom's knife polyphemus and becoming guppy uh, Which would just be absurd and I thought we had a really good chance of getting a deal with the devil there and making that one happen, too But so be it uh, How do we do this then? I think I think we'll just go to the curse room and we'll figure out what we want to reroll because yeah We're only gonna get one more reroll so if there's nothing in the curse room That's maybe an ideal situation and then we can just go reroll the shop one last time. And we've already been to our secret room, and uh, we picked up HP upgrade Little Chad on this floor. Which is not, you know, incredible. But it, it'll get the job done for us. We're stronger than when we started. We also bought a spirit heart and, like, a key. And hopefully we'll be able to pick up map or, or 9 volt or something like that right here. I mean, at this point, we might as well buy the steam cell just to take it out of the item pool, is my thinking. No need to buy anything else, obviously, because, you know, 39 bombs and uh, full red health means that the rest of this is kind of uh, irrelevant to us, but whatever, that's fine as well. We're going to take ourselves all the way down here and head on to Depths or Necropolis Part 1, neither of which uh, strikes me as a, a genuine threat, but I imagine we will probably end up fighting against Greed on the next floor, and that's fine, you know, we deserve a Greed fight for all the crazy good shit we've gotten so far on this run. Uh, again... Only thing that this run is really lacking at this point is uh, picking up another 
guppy item, which would just be silly at this point, but I would love it because of the silliness and, of course, because of the absurd amount of damage that we would end up doing. We are a Necropolis, so we, we may start to take some uh, not-so-amazing damage soon. And that's okay, too. Uh, again, we, we kind of deserve that, too, to be honest with you, so... Um, dude, I mean, I might as well go back and get that bomb, but it's very hard to motivate myself to do that when we're already in the position we're in. Uh, I, I really obviously want uh, some keys here, otherwise we're going to end up hemorrhaging a lot of rerolls, but we don't really have a choice in the matter. Maybe we'll look around for the secret room. Could find skeleton key. Could find skeleton key in here, I think, actually. Well, no, we can't. Just be cautious because we are, um, you know, in a position where things like that can happen. I lost a whole spirit heart there because some of the red shots actually do way more damage. So just be cool. You've got the range necessary to put yourself basically right on the borderline of getting hit. We'll lose half a spirit heart for going into that curse room. We, yeah, there we go. So we basically kill the hearts as soon as we touch them. All I gotta do is touch them without the other guys seeing me. That sounded... it didn't come out right, let's put it that way. Well, this is a reroll pedestal, and that scares me a little bit. But it's also very nice. This is apparently just a library uh, that cost me health to go inside, which is... I guess kind of okay, but I really wish Book of Sin had paid out with a, a key there instead of a bomb. Because, you know, as you can see, our bomb situation is pretty much sorted for us right now. Also, it's not necessarily going to be easy for us to go... Oh, I guess I have Little Chad. But it's not necessarily going to be easy for us to go to uh, all of these uh, curse rooms here. Or go into the curse room multiple times, I guess I should say. But we'll try it out. Rage! Fuck it, we'll pick it up. Uh, just because I don't want to come in here that much more. I know that we could have become guppy as a result of that. And I apologize if it offends you that I didn't uh, You know, go a little harder on it. But I think rage is an upgrade for us. We're still one-shotting uh, enemies that normally are a little annoying. And there's two keys here, which means finally we'll have a chance to go to our item room. And I still think we have a pretty good chance of getting a deal with the devil. I would totally take nine lives, even though it would put us in a bit of a weird spot. Guess I sh You know what? We have so much reroll potential on this floor because of that blood bank that I'm actually just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna finish off this side of the... I'm just gonna work on me for a while. No, I'm just gonna work on this side for a while. Um, because I'm a little scared, to be honest with you. A little scared of, uh, of, of dying. I don't want to worry about dying, I just want to worry about the Sunshine Girls, but gotta give it a second here. Uh, don't, don't need to worry about that either. Okay, who are we against? Bloat. So just don't take that first shot, and we should be able to, well, one shot him, that's pretty good. Definitely want to reroll the, that, uh, but instead we'll just end up taking Guppy's Paw. So taking Guppy's Paw is a little bit of a weird one. I think we're actually better off with three Spirit Hearts. Then do we reroll Guppy's Paw for the free item? I think we do. Uh, and that gives us the mark, which gives us even more spirit hearts, which is great. So we are Guppy, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus now. This is living the dream. It, it really, really is. Uh, I was really hoping that we'll have a chance, or I am really hoping that we'll have a chance to get uh, another reroll uh, to use on the... Uh, on the 8-ball, uh, because I would very much like to be in a situation where I can... Please tell me, by the way, that we can uh, get enough rerolls to reroll our item room if necessary. That's why I'm coming over here, just to finish it off. We could play that fortune teller, but anyway, um, we're, we're in an absurdly good position offensively. There's no denying that, right? Like, it, it's just crazy. However, defensively, four spirit hearts is not enough to carry us through the rest of the game, which is why I'm hoping to get more HP from that uh, nine volt, if possible. I mean, I guess that Judas Tongue actually would have been worthless for that section that we just came through, but whatever, we'll go for it. And the more spirit arts we get here, the better our life becomes. Oh, that's already over. HP upgrade? Telepills. Telepills into a long distance away, let's be honest. The other thing is I can't get another reroll for the uh, item room now that I have no uh, red hearts. So, we better hope that we, we like what we get. I mean, we could use that blood bank and... Uh, we could use the blood bank, let's be honest. I'm, by the way, the reason I'm not, like, worried at all about uh, Burnt Penny is because we already have 49 bombs. Judas Tongue is worthless for us, but we're not going to need more than 49 bombs. It's just, just kind of nitpicking at this point. And uh, Mr. Mega's not very good. But do I really want to lose one spirit heart of our six remaining to try to reroll something? I don't think so. I think at this point, if we're only going to have a chance to get maybe one HP... It's not worth losing one spirit heart to make it happen. We'll, we'll roll with six, uh, six spirit hearts and try to make this work for us. We still have one more floor remaining. Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, Permanent Polaroid and its ability. We're guppy. We can fly. The only thing that we're suffering from is a distinct lack of health. And it is a, it's a major issue. 
but we'll uh, we will pick this up just because it does give us this and high priestess is pretty good actually and it's down to the next floor uh, let's let's make this happen hopefully there's another curse room on this floor I don't even know how many items there's left that they can actually give me from deals with the devil at this point I guess we're about to find out shouldn't have greed here we, we really should not have uh, have to worry about aren't you yeah you should have disappeared earlier than that uh, in my opinion we shouldn't have to worry about greed here though which means uh, another shop item is uh, in the cards for us and it's the map what can we say, right? Map compass. Um, we'll see if this is the Hierophant. It's worth the, the risk anyway. And what's better, High Priestess or Devil? I, I prefer the Devil card. We'll reroll 10 bombs, because that's just hilarious at this point. And, um, you know, I will take Mr. Mega. Because I think I might be able to get through the library uh, items, because we've already taken two of them out. So let's let's bum rush that as soon as we can. It's going to be... Yeah, we'll probably have a reroll like as soon as we get there, or soon after. Gotta be careful about this, obviously. It's a little bit of a weird situation. I'm I'm very happy with where we're at here. Also a little bit scared. Now, Book of Revelations is interesting. I it's considering we have none volt uh, nines habit. None volt nines habit. And we don't even have nine volt. We have nuns habit and uh and the battery, that's it. So we did not... I, the battery seems like rarer than those items. I think that's why I got turned around a little bit there. Oh, red chest is a spirit heart. Lucky for me. Uh, so we we could get a lot of spirit hearts that way, but I think I like it more with the D6. Like, I think it's just funnier with the D6, basically. Because we have so much uh, reroll potential. That's also why we're going into the curse room right now. Um, we can get through there with Book of Shadows. With... Okay, this is just comical at this point. Uh, three for Brimstone is not a very good deal. Luckily, I didn't use Book of Shadows on the way in. Three for three Spirit Hearts for Brimstone is not a good deal, considering what we already have. Uh, I think we're more than okay offensively. Let's see what we've got in this one. Two more Spirit Hearts, okay. Then we just pop this on the way out. And So what, basically what I'm getting at is I think it's more fun for us at this point, because we're in a fairly like luxurious position, to stick with the D6. Just make sure we take that out of the item pool. Stick with the D6 and um, instead use this as a, a double item room for the rest of the game, basically. And we've been very lucky on this run. Let's let's not beat around the bush. Uh, but there has been some a little bit of a harrowing situation with respect to our health. But it ended up not lasting very long. So I would say between map, compass, uh, nun's habit, battery, D6, guppy, mom's knife, and polyphemus. This is another candidate for maybe the strongest run I've ever had. I mean, I, can, I don't even have to worry about taking damage against those guys. I can just walk in. I'm not really worried about that room. You know, we've come to the point where the thing I'm most concerned about, I'm like, what would I really want on this run? And that it's a speed upgrade. I'm like, I, I, I could do this faster. I can do it now, but I could do it faster if you just give me that. So I don't know what we still have left in our book rotation. Uh, now I do. Apparently we only have um, Monster Manuel. We will be able to get a reroll by going into all three of these rooms, assuming they have enemies. Or we could actually hurt ourselves and get a reroll on the on the library, which at this point I think would almost be worth it. But we'll see. We might not have to. I, ideally, I would prefer not to. Keep in mind, by the way, that each one of our flies does twice as much damage as one of our shots. Uh, and our shots are Mom's Knife Polyphemus. So we kind of have a, a stupid and absurd level of, of damage coming out here. So we'll open this chest, maybe more keys? Hey, that's good actually, because that means that uh, I maybe can open these golden chests, or maybe we just want to wait and uh, open them later. Or like, open them on the chest basically is what I'm trying to get at. I don't know, that's up to you. It's not actually, it's like literally up to me. So we're going to reroll the library one more time. I, at this point, I kind of am just embracing all spirit hearts, and that's what makes this run kind of interesting, is that it's... Let's open these, sure. That's whatever that is, we got it. It's uh, some extra bombs, it's not really worth very... We got five bombs for two keys, normally an okay trade, not very good in this situation. Oh, and Anarchist Cookbook was still in there, so that sucks a little, but whatever. We're, we're gonna be fine for now. But I, that's what makes this run a little harrowing, is that I have chosen to go all Spirit Hearts without any Spirit Heart generators. That being said, uh, we did... We probably, with a better shot, could have one shot her. Uh, and, and that's pretty crazy, because Mom doesn't have an insignificant amount of health. So it's down to the next floor with the Polaroid for that extra invincibility. Uh, pretty easy trip for us to get there, as you can see. Secret rooms are like... At this point, I'm like, why would I even bother with secret rooms? I'll get the Ankh. Get fetus in a jar, right? Um, not really that concerned about it. I would still love to get some deals with the devil. Like, if I could get the, the Pact for three Spirit Hearts, I would totally take it. 
Uh, this is reroll city if we can reroll it, or like a second level cube of meat would have been fine as well. I think we can reroll white pony to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, we don't want that though. So, you know what? Fuck it. At this point, I'm like, we might as well just head downwards. Yes, we could have gotten something there. Oh well, basically. Uh, at this point, why beat around the bush? We've got to win. All we got to do is actually make it happen. Counterfeit penny. Sorry, that's flat penny. Flat penny's pretty good. Uh, ooh, do, 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 do. Okay, smart guy. Just don't forget the Polaroid in doing this. And we only took two cents there. So we only got one key for that. I don't feel good about it, but it's done is done. We're going to go to uh, through the rest of the floor, at least until we get to that boss. Trying to get some pennies. We do have a sack of pennies. This could give us enough keys to open all the items on the chest, right? Still trying. Don't don't let you don't let anybody tell you I'm phoning it in here. Still doing my my due diligence to some extent to make sure that I continue to improve myself. And there's a second key. We only need to get to four, and we don't need to get to four right away because we still have one more floor remaining. Uh, and I did take damage for the first time on the uh, post mom levels right there. We can leave after the mom's hard boss fight, but at this point. Uh, I think maybe we'll just explore these other two rooms quickly and see if we get more keys and whether or not we do. Uh, then we'll take the Polaroid and just go. That was more uh, bad damage from me. You didn't need me to tell you that, obviously. But uh, there it is on the table right there. And in here we've got Envy. This actually could be an item for us. And yeah, of course we could explore more and become even more powerful, perhaps. Or we could explore more and just uh, spend more time. And you know how much spending time uh, that is irrelevant to the outcome of the run or even relevant to the outcome of the run is uh, appealing to me. Not very much at all. I was just checking to see if maybe that was a uh, secret tinted rock. It was not. We'll check our Polaroid and uh, head down to the next floor. At least we got a couple more keys as a result of that. Probably screwed myself out of at least one more by picking up those two cents, but whatever. Mom's Heart is... Um, I mean, we can't one-shot Mom's Heart, right? Because we've already done damage to it, but we, uh, we pretty much can. <laughs> We also got uh, Mom's Contact on that fight, which is just overkill at that point. It makes it, If we get Mom's Contact on the Isaac fight, we could win quite obviously without taking any damage, which would just be hilarious. Uh, sure, we've got two keys still, but we're on the Isaac fight already. What is our... Um, it's... Oh my god, we're gonna like three-shot him. And we've got permanent Polaroid invincibility, which I haven't even talked about very much. But okay, we're, we're done, basically. I didn't even use the Devil card because I didn't get a chance. That's Stigmata, so we'll, or Blood of the Martyr, sorry, so we'll just take that. Extra damage is always good. Do I really want Poison Bombs? I mean, we're in a situation where we have... Uh, I, I thought maybe I could one-shot War. We're in a situation where we, we have, like, a lot of uh, Mega Bombs. I don't know if I want to take these. If they're health ups, that might suck, but whatever. Uh, we have a lot of Mega Bombs, but I'm never going to use them because Mom's Knife just does so much damage as is. So, I think we'll just go back and reroll it now that I've given it a little bit more thought. And we get Quad Shot, which I think actually lowers our damage, but I'm going to pick it up anyway just because Quad Shot, Polyphemus, Mom's Knife, $3 bill, Guppy, it's it's just crazy. It's I, I like it a lot. And I think our damage is probably lowered as a result of it, but I, I can live with that because there's no way to kill us, basically. Uh, and we'll compensate for that by using the Devil card on the on the Blue Baby fight. Basically, as soon as the, the leading edge of Mom's Knife touches you, you're still dead, unless you're a boss. So, this has been maybe the strongest run that I've had in quite some time, if not ever. Uh, we're not quite one-shotting Blue Baby. In fact, we are doing less damage, I think, basically demonstrably. But wow, what a powerful run. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you with a random run next time.